watch your Crunch Army where you at. Okay, so with the new season comes new mechanics, new locations, and a whole new meta change in the world of Fortnite competitive completely. You know, it can be hard to know, like, where to drop right off the bat, but if there's one thing that we do know for sure, guys, is that not all drop spots are made equally in Fortnite. What's going on, guys? Listen, today I'm going to be showing you five of the best drop spots and rotations that you got to implement in your competitive matches for Season 6. All right, but before we get into all of that, remember to click the link in the description so that you can enter our awesome Pro Guides giveaway. And if you enter, you're going to have a chance of winning an entire year of Pro membership, allowing you to access incredible courses and master classes from pros like clicks or four VOD reviews or even an awesome exclusive pro guys shirt man we got so much amazing stuff I'm so excited are you ready for this let's get this going Okay, guys, so our first drop spot today is an absolutely awesome one because, you know, it's going to give you guys pretty much a guaranteed chance at picking up a purple or legendary pump shotgun from Bandalet, right up the southern edge of the island. All right, so at Flush Factory, Bandalet will offer you the pump shotgun price of just 95 gold, which is honestly just OP in itself, but on top of all of that, it has the potential to even be a legendary pump, giving you the chance to picking up an insta-kill headshot weapon for like no gold at all. Alright, so there is one small catch, of course. Alright, so in competitive Fortnite, the maximum amount of gold that you spawn into the game with is like only 50 gold, meaning that you're not going to be able to pick up this pump shotgun right away. Luckily for you though, like gold bars can actually be found by breaking the brick toilets that can be found around the POI. And you can also try to farm the quest that Bandalet offers which are you know to get shotgun damage and shotgun eliminations and these can be activated at the same time so they'll pretty much be a good source of gold later on throughout the game now y'all probably know what you're thinking like this drop spot is just way out there in the middle of nowhere right like it's going to be pretty hard to get you know anywhere from where flush factory is located right well, luckily, Flush Factory is home to many vehicle spawns, which can be used to rotate and to farm mechanical parts for the new crafting system. So the storm and your enemies shouldn't be a problem with this drop at all. Okay, so are you getting killed off spawn, like no matter where you drop? If you are, man, head on over to ProGuys.com and check out our pro coaches. They'll have you playing with the best of the best in no time. All right, guys, so our second drop spot today is the Log Jam. All right, so, okay, so location just to the south of Holly Hedges on the Fortnite map. Okay, so Log Jam is a brilliant location to drop because it contains a whole load of wooden pallets, which are honestly one of the most satisfying things in Fortnite to farm because of how much wood they actually give you to build with. And basically, if you want to walk out of the early game with more wood than you know what to do with, Log Jam is the place for you guys. And on top of all of that, like, Log Jam is home to Gut Bomb an NPC which you're gonna be able to challenge. And if you manage to take him out, he's gonna drop a purple pump every single time. And this is the only spot on the entire map that will guarantee you a purple pump. And that's pretty much all there is really to this drop spot. So I'd imagine that it's going to be pretty contested in arena without a doubt. Which is why, you know, it's even more important to really get your landings perfected so that you are never going to die off spawn. All right, guys, make sure that, you know, when you pull out your glider or umbrella, you know, that you are just pulling it out where the ground below you is just lower down, for example, at the bottom of the valley or the right before a cliff or mountain. And this ensures that you're going to be one of the last players to pull your gliders out and therefore one of the first to land. And if you want to learn more about, you know, how to become a master of spawn landing so that, you know, you can guarantee yourself some placement points and fair eliminations, I would recommend that you watch this video and apply it to your arena game in Season 6. This tutorial was made a few months ago, but all of the practices and points made are, you know, st they're still valid to this day. So you guys got to check it out. Okay, so with the release of the new crafting system, it's a given that you're going to have to find a drop spot that contains a lot of cars if you want to be crafting your pump shotguns and mechanical ARs as soon as possible. But what a lot of players don't know is that some buildings in Steamy, which are located to the northeast of the Fortnite map, when farmed, actually drop mechanical parts similar to the cars, making it easier and quicker to get those upgraded shotguns and AR. And on top of that, I'm sure that you all know that Steamy contains a massive building that launches you you to the sky, like allowing for some easy rotation across the island no matter where the zone moves to. And as a bonus, Steamy has a legendary chest spawn which has the chance to give you an RPG to destroy your opponents with. 
From Steamy, you can glide to the closest Guardian Tower, which contains some more loot and can really boost you even further for extra fast rotations. All right, guys, our question of the day. Bunch of crunch, Sami. All right, what's your favorite drop spot right now? Like, are you dropping in Boney Burbs or at the Spire for some early game fights? Or, like, are you sticking to, like, low-key craft material, farming areas like Risky Reels or Weeping Woods? Hey, let us know in the comments down below, because we're definitely going to read them. All right, so the Kami split drop spot is one of the most loved spots among the Fortnite Pro community. In fact, it's predicted that the Kami split drop spot might like just be over contested for trios due to how overpowered it is. Nonetheless, you should all still understand why this spot between Colossal Crops and Dirty Docks is going to be super popular this season. Like if you didn't know, a split is where the players and a team land at different locations on the map, which are usually a little bit further away from each other than usual. The team loots up different areas and then regroups when it's time to rotate to the first circle. The advantage of splitting up is that you can do more efficient work like with loot and materials, but the disadvantage is that if the spot is contested and you find yourself fighting an enemy, whew, you have no close backup from your team like you usually would. The Kami split, in particular, is arguably the best split on the island since it's near the center of the map and consistently gets players to max mats and reliable loot. And so there are tons of fishing spots in this area that can give you lots of heals and floppers. And you know, with the new release of season six, believe it or not, Kami may become even better. So the compact cars area is a literal mechanical part generator. By just placing a floor below the compact cars, it instantly destroys them, having a chance of dropping mechanical parts. This means you can get enough mechanical parts from this small area of the map to sometimes craft enough pump shotguns for your entire trio. So this is a little secret, which as of now, not a whole lot of people know about, apart from the pro community. So sorry if you knew about this and you didn't want this getting out but if you're watching this and you didn't know hey make sure to like and subscribe so you can stay in the loop about little secrets like this so Coral Castle, which is located at the top left of the Fortnite map, similar to Kami, will give you guys trio max material when splitting when you farm the brick in Coral Castle. And you know, the palm trees for wood and the broken down plane for metal. Coral Castle also has a ridiculous amount of fishing spots to gain extra loot, which might not even be necessary at all, considering that you can get up to 50 chests in this area if you're splitting as a trio. So there are many boats scattered around for easy north side rotations. Plus, you can farm the boats for mechanical parts, which you can, you know, again, use to craft whatever item weapons you like. You know, there aren't many, you know, negatives to this location, apart from the fact that if you do get an unlucky zone, which is far southeast, you're going to have to rotate pretty early so that the players at Sweaty Sands don't get any tags in you for storm surge and so we recommend that you take this path guys as soon as possible so that you know you can have an easier time to rotate to dead side when the second circle appears also i will say this you get some extra cover from the trees and weeping woods where you can just you know restock up on mats before your next fight all right guys so to recap on all the drop spots flush factory guarantees a purple or gold pump shotgun with easy gold from the npc Logjam for easy wood, and again, a guaranteed purple spaz from challenging the NPC. Steaming Stacks offers, you know, extra mechanical parts from the buildings and, you know, guaranteed super fast rotates. Kami splits and trios for OP consistent loot and an abundance of mechanical parts for your entire team. And finally, Castle Split for max materials, OP loot, and loads of fishing spots with boats for mechanical parts. All right, bunch of crunch on me. Okay, so these are the top five drop spots that we think are the strongest right now in season six. I mean, things can always change as the season progresses, so we'll be sure to update you guys as we learn more info. All right, so listen, guys, like the video if you liked it, subscribe to the channel, and connect with me on Instagram at Your Motivation Guy. I'm so proud of you guys. Never quit, never surrender, keep going. I'll see you soon.